My mother was Julia Catherine Harris. She was born in February 22nd, 1922 in a little place called Augusta, Georgia. And she would always tell people that Augusta, Georgia is where the Masters golf tournament was held every year. And then she would also tell them, but of course black people couldn't play golf there. We could only caddy there until Mr. Elder broke that color barrier. What I know about my mother's early years, she was one of 17 children. My mother grew up singing and learning how to dance and things like that, and she worked in vaudeville for a number of years. She was a private during World War II in the 6th Triple Eight Battalion, which was an all-woman African-American battalion. It was the only African-American battalion, at least, that went over to Europe during the war and they were assigned the task of making sure that mail got to the troops. I have memories of stories about her working and entertaining the troops when she was part of uh, the battalion that she served in during World War II. She used to tell stories about being in Paris, so I assumed that they had a way of going to Paris on, a, on occasion. There were three people who died in the battalion, and she may have been a witness to it. The way I always remembered the story was that she was in a jeep following three other of her battalion mates, and that jeep hit a mine and exploded, and so that she wasn't able to perform her duties as she had been before. And she was um, honorably discharged maybe a, a year before the end of the war. So she came home and she became a singer for a long time um, before I came along. The singers that she admired that I knew about were like Sarah Vaughn and Diana Washington and Nancy Wilson. Mom ended up in California and Los Angeles where I was born and raised. She was working for the Metropolitan Water District when I was young and it became the Department of Water and Power. After that, she opened a dress shop and she did for a while a beauty shop in the Limerick Park area in Los Angeles. And later on, she opened up a business, first a Pioneer Chicken, and then later on a soul food restaurant. The Pioneer Chicken was destroyed in 1992 during the Rodney King uprising. When the riots hit, I was trying to get in touch with her and I couldn't. She was at the shop and I was telling her, you need to leave because, you know, things were happening on the street and it wasn't safe. And she said that her tires were slashed. So I drove there and I remember I was going one way and the police and fire department were going the opposite way, which did not give me a great deal of comfort. When I got there, there were people running around with bats and smashing windows and taking things out of store. So I picked up my mom and I took her home that day. The main memories I have of my mom is that she was a person of great perseverance. You could not intimidate her. Um, she did what she thought she had to do, and my mom was somewhat insistent, as was her character. She could be fiercely loyal to people. At times, she could be fiercely angry with people. There was always the sense that if someone in the family needed help, my mom would be there to try to help. She was a great lady, and she was a person of great love, who I think has a special relationship with the Lord, and a special relationship with her family.